All right, guys, so I have a, uh, a guest speaker in today, uh, George Dunn, and he's going to talk about uh, the legend of the Husky. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello, George. Hey, good to see you. Thanks All for right. doing this. All right. Stu Dennis, I've been told that you want to know something about the legend of the Husky, the Luke Cage Husky, huh? Well, let me see. This was so long ago. Uh, back in the, the 70s, some of the students used to go off into the woods behind campus and do potentially nefarious deeds. Uh -huh. But they saw this animal, this dog-like creature, being seen out there in the woods. And that the kids, on their own, stopped going out into the woods. And as faculty, we just said, well, that's good, you know, keep the kids around here on campus, keep them safe, keep them an eye on them. So for a little while, I don't know how many years, Husky sightings or reports or whatever kind of faded away. Yeah, thanks so much, Mr. Dunn, for that. And that brings us to our, our event tomorrow. We are going to go on an expedition to find the legend of the Husky. Southwest. Where's that? That's that way. So that's the whole husky thing. Do you think Mr. Dunn was being serious? Well, you know, Elliot, he's into the drama. He's a theater guy. You have to remember that. That is. Hey guys, let's stop here. Let me get a uh, picture of us on our husky expedition. <laughs> what was that? What? What is it? What? Did you hear that? No. Just maybe. I don't know. I thought I saw something. something. Or something. The wind? I don't think it was the wind. Well, that was kind of weird. Yeah. That couldn't have been the husky, though, could it? No, no, there's nice dope down there. Hey, look. Dope. Oh, yeah. Word. Yeah, this is pretty big woods, so there's a lot of large things that could live in here. Whoa, whoa, Mr. Mark, what is it? That's definitely claw marks. Big animal. How big? Maybe at least 200 pounds. Wow. Bear? Could be. Bear or who knows what. God, what is that smell? Uh, I think it might be that. Do you see that? Look at that. Wow. Do you smell that? Is that from the animal? Yeah. That's, that's fresh scat. Yep, that's carnivore, all right? You right? guys want some? Mm, uh, I think that's a little too extreme for me. And what's this? Wow! That looks human. That does, uh, that does look human. And it looks like it met a really untimely death. All right, guys, we better keep our eyes open. There's definitely a large animal out here. I'm not sure what, but we know it's big, and we know it eats meat. Wow, look at these dates. Huh. Wow. Pretty neat. Hey, look. That says Luther Sampson. Whoa. The founder of Kent's Hill School. I wonder if anybody knows about this. Guys, I've never heard of it. We can't leave here. I gotta do some research around here, do an archaeological dig over there. Gonna, maybe we can set up camp just over that way. It's getting late. We're going to have to spend the night. What? Can, can we just take a picture and call it a day and leave? 
We have to stay out here tonight. Sleep the vehicle? No, the vehicle's too far away. We're on an outing club. This is a big mm -hmm. event. Suck it up, Elliot. and I threw him off. That ending was just awful. Can we just do the Scooby-Doo ending? Canine teeth aren't wolf dentition at all. Hey, let's find out who this is. Mr. Dunn? Can't believe it. George, how could you? Oh, I've been wearing this costume and being the husky to keep you kids out of the woods and keep you out of trouble. Oh, this has been a tradition for over 60 years. Oh. Mr. Crane was the last one to wear it. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you pesky kids and Matt Moore. <laughs> Connor, I thought you were dead. Nah, I was too important of a character to die. I guess this means I have to write another grade report. <laughs> 